hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's video so today i have another finish for you all and this is flight of the fireflies by randall spangler um from diamond art club so this is the image in all its glory let me just zoom you in this was a 56 centimeter by 56 centimeter in round and you can see it even included some special drills, some like crystal rhinestones to make up these like dragons. They're like Chinese sort of dragons, you know, like them that you see on Chinese New Year. We also have some AB white in them. If you can just see the coating. I can see when I move it like, in person, but it's kind of hard to see. On the image and this one was a really cute quite small one but it still took me a while just because life <laughs> um, but I think it looks super good I am so impressed with the detail that some diamond paintings get in them where you just wouldn't even believe it um, and it just looks so realistic it looks like it's been a painting that's been well painted <laughs> um, but yeah I absolutely loved working on this one very cute colours, I really enjoyed like the sky, not too confetti, it was quite blocky, the worst part, the confetti wise, was in the jar, that was probably the most irritating part confetti wise, because I do like, well, I don't mind it, I don't mind a bit of confetti, but I would prefer small blocks, not all blocks of colour, like not like a huge black or brown I've had in the past like um like square that I'm doing like all one colour but having said that um I do like to have little blocks of colour so I'm not dashing all around my page and missing them um but yeah overall it was really quite all right so let's just get straight in to the D kitten okay so let's get straight in to the D kitting so here are all my leftover diamonds and I do actually have a little bit of 310 left over in a spare bag so oh, let me just put them back so we need to go into my first box so my um, 100 to 899 box and I do have some leftovers from the colourful dandelion painting which I've not yet matched up so let's see if I can match any of them up I'm trying to think if there's any colours that I will have had in this painting maybe some browns I don't think there's any Ooh. is that a match Oh, that's a bit light, although having said that, that could be a match. What colour is this? 166. Let me see if I've got any 166 and if they match up. One, six, six. So I think they do. I mean, it could definitely just be the light, but I'm like turning away. I think they have a match, so I think they are one six six. Hmm, very good. At least I'm able to match them up. Now this could go absolutely awfully. Trying to go from one bag to another. There's not too many. Okay. And I'll keep that bag. I'm not going to chuck away a perfectly good bag. So. They're fine. And I need 166 for my drills anyway. So I may as well put them away while I'm in there. So I do have a few different types of bags in my storage. These bags like this currently just house Diamond Art Club. 
whereas my other ones are literally for the reason like I've just done I've just put in some that I'm not 100% certain if they completely match but I'm going for it anyway and then I'm hoping there won't be very much sticky residue left on these because these are like the new damn dark club stickers which I've been told are not permanent and yeah they've come off perfectly fine so at least we've got one colour matched up now um, I'm just having a look I don't think I've got any pinks in this kit Oh. so the purple we can have a look there is a few purples there are some browns can maybe have a look for them I might actually just keep these out oops <laughs> I literally just had my phone up for a flashlight so it was a little bit less dark and it's fell off okay so what I actually think I'm gonna do is maybe just have these out and just check as I come to a colour I'm trying to think where to put them I know I don't have any pink in this kit so that can go back but the rest of them I may or may not have so let's just go from the top so oh I'm trying to um I think they might match 155 them purples and I do already have some 155s so let's just see they look like a rough match I think they're 155 but I don't actually have them in my other bag so I need to stick out this up with a 155 and I'm just trying to work out where my stickers are and they are in here I am just off camera I'm just trying to find my stickers I need squares so these are my old stickers and I have squares and rounds and I need one five five so they're there may as well keep them out just in case I do manage to sort out the others as well so yeah because I'm not 100% certain I'd rather just put these in like a different bag away from the ones that I'm certain are 155 and I also use them bags for any that I've got off like Amazon and that are just acrylic drills rather than resin or if any drills aren't as good quality I can always put in that other bag so I don't mind keeping a second type of bag they'll all get used eventually because I'll find a use for them now I have skipped number one if you can see and that's because 
number one is um, my ABs, which I do put in a different um, storage. So these, I don't have any more purple, so I can get rid of the next one. So 209 in round, which I don't have any of. I think I've used purples before in squares, but not rounds, really. So that's 209. yeah these stickers are coming off really nice to be honest with like I'm not going to need to goog on them there's like hardly any residue I think this is the first painting where I've used the new stickers as well I think I want to say it is 210 And then the next one after this is 310. So let's see if my bag can fit them in. Because I'm thinking I'm going to need to add another bag of round 310 to my spare spares, my extra spares. I've basically got an old box that I used to use. Like I had like these, these rose gold spotty box and that houses extra spares so they're the ones that I know I can use for projects and yeah so that is my rounds and I do not have in here an extra bag of 310 so I know I should have a spare bag for them in here so these were ones when I used to have like a label on for Diamond Art Club and then I moved them um, over to prettier bag thicker bags so I still have a lot of different colours stickered up and square and round and I kept them to not waste stickers basically I thought I can still use them for my extra spares so I've just got to find 310 and I reckon it'll be like the last one I come to just because it's me but I am pretty certain I do have a bag in here for them I don't for everything this is just ones that basically before I changed up my spares um, that I'd already done Diamond Dark Club paintings with these colours in them so it's not everything. I wasn't going to stick her up with the bags for everything. Just in case. I thought that would be a bit stupid. I'm pretty sure. 300, 301. There it is. Look, 310. So. A bit strange, I know. Well, you're probably thinking it's a bit strange anyway that I keep all these but I don't want to waste I spent a lot of time making the stickers and I really don't want to like waste them waste all that time and effort so I just keep them in here and keep them in my extra spares box and I will of course go looking in here but now I know the next time I will just have to make a new bag for 310 because I do already have in here two bags of 310 in round and also two very full bags of 3371 
in round okay so what I do in this circumstance because I only want to put in that part of four bags um, of drills and I'd rather keep empty bags in my actual spares just because that means I don't have to go into my extra spare box as much whereas if I kept this bag like this for example really really full every single time I did kit a painting with retenning which let's face it is a lot of them I'm gonna have to go into my extra spares so that bag's only half full so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this bag and I'm going to fill this bag up. Without trying to get them all over. Let me have a look. I think I can get some more in there. I know you're probably thinking, oh my god, Alicia, like you're going to get them all over. I probably am. I think I'm going to just tip them all out. There we go. So that bag is completely empty now. And then this bag is very, very full. So I basically can keep adding three tenths to my spares now without having to go through into my extra spares box and I already have like some in square so yeah I have plenty of three ten which I'm sure most of you guys do as well that's just how I do it with my extras so that can go in my extra spare box and later I'll update the quantity I've got to my gems flow app which basically tells me how many stuff I've got how many bags of drills and things I've got in my extra spares um so three 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 And I'll do that with other colours when I get to it. But I'm currently, because I've not, I've only diamond painted for like a year. Um, and I do kind of bigger paintings than I do smaller ones. So I think if you do a lot of smaller ones, you'll probably build up your spares quicker. But because I do a lot of bigger ones, they take me longer. So I do, I actually finish less paintings in a year. I can't remember what I'm on now. I think it might be on something like 16 finishes. It's not too bad. But I'm definitely slowing down um, with starting teaching. I'm very, very busy and it's taking up a lot of my time. Oh, and I've done this bag the wrong way round. Can I get the sticker off? I can't and I'm not going to try. That's a bit annoying. Basically there's a lip and I usually put the sticker on the smaller lip side but uh, I've put it on the bigger one so that's the wrong way. But I've done the, the square one the right way for some reason. But oh well, I'll live with it. But yeah, I've not not done bad at all maybe get a few more in before Christmas maybe three that'd be I reckon a good goal to see if I can get three more damn paintings done before Christmas oh but yeah I've got I've got another big one on the go at the moment so come on got one drill stuck in the pot there we go 
so one really big one but I've decided I'm only doing like a row of it and then I'll move on to a different painting and do like a bit of a different painting like a row of a different one and then I'll move back onto that and do it like that so I don't get fed up of the big one because when I did like Fuji Flora I did really get um burnt out I think would be the best way to describe it really did burn me out because it was so big well I'm getting a lot of 498 it's a decent sized bag there's definitely room for more though in that one but I like it because once I start getting more colours in my extra spares I can start doing different projects um, issue is with like Heaven and Earth Designs I'm, I'm wanting to do one of them but I really want to be able to use up my rounds as well so I was thinking probably um the best way to do it would because you can get like round canvases you know um for like putting your own drills on um blank canvases is what i'm trying to say you can get round blank canvases but the issue with rounds is you can see the background so i'm thinking i might have a look on heaven and earth designs if they've got a very very light image Or maybe something that's like black and white so with a but like more white than black I don't know something that's not too dark that it wouldn't hurt like basically you being able to see the white underneath that is an option I'm maybe toying with 720 I've hardly got any of these colours this painting had 40 colours in it although one is special drills so I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do with them with the special drills I think I'm going to put them in with my uh, my ABs for now Let's see because I do have a full special drill painting if you've seen um, I kitted it up it was Lizzie Falcon um, from Treasure Studios Arts Shine On I believe it's called um, which I got in completely crystal rhinestones So that has like all the DMC numbers in crystal rhinestones. Very pretty. That's one that I've got to finish. I think I've done like a row and a half on it. I've not done much. Um, I've got quite a few whips on the go, which I shouldn't really have, but I do. So yeah, I need to finish that and then obviously sort out what I'm going to do with them um, 7, 4, 3 quite a lot of yellows I think that was from um, A Mother's Love which was around thinking but yellow is in quite a few things Oh, and something sweet it had some yellow in it, some yellow rounds. I'll put that back. I need to take the sticker off. So that could definitely be where they've come from, but 
I'm sure I'll get there where I've got like plenty of spares in every single colour that I can start doing extra projects without buying new drills. Yeah, they're not similar. I hadn't been uh, checking my colours, but I don't think I've gone through any colour that I've only got like a turquoise green a light pastel blue and two browns and like that colour but I had my eye on that one and it's not a match so oh dropping the pots 779 not quite that one nor is it that one there's a lot of browns um, in DMC number, so that one I might never perfectly match up. Oh, I've got quite a lot of 779. I'm just going to end up with loads of spare like browns and dark colours, aren't I? I've already got like two bags of spare 3371. I can just imagine me just getting loads and loads of spare dark browns and black and that's it and I forgot to take the sticker off of that one as well and I forgot to take the sticker off of this one as well for 16 thought this would be a really really quick kit kitten down but <laughs> once again like all of my kitten downs they never are Whew, okay so seven nine six That's got in the wrong order. I don't have any round um, 796 in nicer drills. I only have them in like my Amazon ones, which I think went came from my Disney castle, I want to say. Just under halfway through, I think. Why for 40? Yeah, two more. Uh, 797 is a very popular colour. It's in quite a few kits. But I'm yet to have a full bag of it. So it'd be alright if I get like a few blues. At least they're bit more exciting than just plain brown so but yeah I will eventually get them I can't get the stickers off of my nails that's why I keep taking ages I'm like trying to get it off and it's like not coming off at all um, 798 is the next one don't actually have any in my round bag but I will after this and 799 so I had 797, 798 and 799 in this painting they are very very pretty these like colour blues oh but I already had some 799 it's not 798. I have to say, if I, once I get my nail under these stickers, they are coming off. Super, super quick. And if you've noticed that it is quite dark on my screen, I do apologise. I am doing this in the evening. I do have a ring light, uh, which is very powerful, which 
But ages and ages ago, before I started this channel, and I used to use it for videoing, but <laughs> it's in my wardrobe and it is behind um, all of my diamond paintings that are stacked up in the boxes, like my diamond art boxes. And the likes and oh my goodness I am not moving like 50 boxes to get to that ring light every single time and it's the only place it can go for now so otherwise I'd have made sure I've got really good lighting but I think you can still see I can still see anyway I can still see what I'm doing. But I just I needed to get it done because I'd have just sat on my bum all evening. And then when it come to needing the video, like me needing a kitten down video or whatever to put on, then I would have had to film it like during the day on a weekend and if I didn't have the time then I'm a bit screwed, right? So I just thought, if I'm not doing anything right now, I'm going to get in the shower after this and get my jammers on and go to bed. But I thought, if I'm not doing anything right this second, I may as well be a bit proactive and kit this down so then it's done. So that's why it is in the middle of the night although I'm getting very tired now from standing up and my mouth's getting very dry from speaking and I don't have my drink it's downstairs so yeah get a bit hot a bit flustered but we are over halfway done so it won't be too much longer Do any of you ever feel like that? I'm guessing quite a few of you do because I know that a lot of you don't like kitting down or kitting up. I think it does get, after a while it gets a bit tedious. I want it done and I enjoy having it done. But sometimes I don't really... I think, do you know what? The thing is with me is I talk a lot, right? But sometimes I do just enjoy silent tasks and I enjoy doing the videos for you guys. So that's all of the ones in that box. So let me put the lid on and get the other box. Yeah, I do enjoy doing it for you guys, but I think I can be a bit quicker and just like chill if I'm just doing it on my own. Um which I don't do, obviously, because I do do it uh, on camera. But, yeah, sometimes it can be tiring. So, 900. So it's the first one in this box that I have because that starts at 900 so at least it's nice and easy to remember it's just the one at the front this box isn't as full either as the other one which is nice because I don't have to ram them in I am wanting to go through at some point and spread them out a bit but I really like the fact that the other box ends at 899 <sighs> So I wish I could find another nice number for them to end at, but I might not be able to, who knows. But I at least need to have a try. Is this 934? It's like a grey. I don't think, to be honest, I am going to have any of these colours. I will just keep them out though, the spares. At least I managed to get rid of like 
bit one or two. I got rid of two, didn't I? It's good. A good achievement. Being able to put away two non-DMC colours just by matching them up. Probably match them up to ones that I previously said no to. I'm thinking I probably have. Like I think potentially I may have already tried to match them colours up to what I've put them as. Like the lime green and the purple. But it'll have been that in, in the brighter light you can see the minor discrepancies. You can see the minor difference in colour. Whereas in the darker light I can't but the fact of the matter is you know from different companies just naturally you are going to get minor discrepancies in your drills and for most projects it's not really or any projects that I'm going to be doing with them I don't really care that much if there is a little bit of a discrepancy definitely if I was doing a diamond painting and I run out, I would contact the company because I only really buy diamond paintings from companies that I know have a good reputation as sellers. Okay, I think I'm going to need to go into another bag of 939s as well, which I have. Oh, 939's a new one as well. Oh, what am I doing? I'm pulling out a 938. Right, that goes in there. 938, and then I'm into this one. Right, that's 939. So, I think, because I have a very full pot of 939s, that they're not all going to fit into here. So, going to do the same thing as what I've done with the three tens. I'm going to pour the entire pot into the extra spare bag which fills it up just over halfway and then I'm going to actually tip out some of the spares that were already in my spares. In fact it might fit all of them in. Yep, that's a very nice full bag of 939. So now I officially have black, <laughs> very dark brown and very dark blue. In my extra spares, whoop, whoop. I wasn't expecting that, but at least I already had the bag for it. Um, so I didn't have to make another one, which is a good thing. Okay, 977, seven. oh, still got stickers stuck to me, I'm telling you, they won't come off. Um, Nine seven seven, which is here. I do have some of that, some orange. What are we on to now? Number thirty. Only ten more to go. And the good news is, I don't have to degunk my pots because the stickers are really nice so at least that's a job I don't have to do which makes me very happy right 3023 now which is the front of the second row So I can pour them in and pop them in my box. So 
so yeah I'm very tired <laughs> been tired all week <sighs> I know people warn you that like training to be a teacher is no they're not match can be like tiring but oh my goodness I'm so tired and I'm not even in class yet with the kids I'm still at uni so oh when I'm filming this I am don't know when I'll actually pop the video on my channel I try to put out either a kitten up or a de in a week so it might go up quicker than I thought. Um, I think I've already de-kitted White Tiger but when I'm doing this I've not put that on my channel yet but it could only be a couple of weeks so I might still be just at uni. Um, but yeah it's still tiring me out though so God knows what I'll be like when, when I'm actually dealing with kids they'll be killing me off right then so that one let's see if I can do this before I have to resave my camera battery again I've got 10 minutes let's see if it takes me less than 10 minutes 3 Three, four, seven. Right, I've got seven colours left. Five for this box. And then two to go in my pretties, my precious. think oh okay so three three four eight I definitely had a lot of spares for this one for colours that or more than I thought I would have should I say left over with like there's a few colours that I rarely ever use and usually when you rarely use them you get like maybe a handful of spares but for this one they didn't really see, seem proportionate to the weight of what I've got left over um, 3776 seven, seven, six. Which is strange, but I don't know how they do it. They know. As long as diamond painting companies know what they're doing. I don't need to know. I'll just go with it. I'll tell you what though, I really prefer this like design of my box, my spares, um, over the rose gold one which is strange for me because I do love rose gold but I just think it's so pretty and it's floral and it's got the emerald green and the pink flowers really like it I think it's really pretty 3837 oh my god there's so many 38s 383 I've gone past it now. Eight, three, seven. <sighs> yes, only five more in total. To do, but I think I'm going to have to save my memory card one more time. So, I apologise for it being very, very long. Although I don't think most of you mind. To be honest, I think the views on my longer videos tends to be better than on my shorter ones. Um, 
which kind of defies all odds but <laughs> If you, you prefer to li listen to me rambling on then cool because that's basically all I do anyway um, I definitely do prefer talking about you know stuff in general rather than just stamping because when I'm doing long videos like this I really don't know what to talk about so maybe I don't know I have no solution. It doesn't help when my brain's not working properly, but hey ho. And I've got all these like stickers that I've just stuck to my side. Look at this. And I've been really stupid. I should have been like putting them in the bin as I go along or something, but I haven't. And now I'm dealing with all these. And they're like not very sticky so they don't even like stick together. I think that's the issue. Like usually when I take off a sticker they all compact together. These aren't. I find it really hard to get them to stick. I put them in this little bag that I use for the spare free tens. I may as well do it now because it's just getting in my way. Okay. So where were we? 3864. That's one really close to the end. Oh and that's the last one as well for this box. Okay, so that's that box all done. We take the sticker off. And then I'm going to just move that out of the way and get my pretty I want it all box in round from diamondpaintingdrills.com um, so it does actually have 75 AB drill colours and they're all here so I do have 5200 which is the 141 um, in Diamond Art Club but it is 5200 in DMC so I can just shove these in there and I do also have in here some packs of ABs that are just related to Diamond Art Club um, an E310 which was um, glow in the dark but these ones here I don't actually have I, I found the conversion and I don't actually have them in these 75 colours so it's not every DMC number that's in AB drills but it's 75 there's definitely some of every single colour of the rainbow put it that way which is nice and then, to be honest, what I think with these for now, because I don't know what the DMC colour is of this gold, but I do know that it might be a colour I have in that Shine On painting. So I'm just going to put them in this bag, not labelled up. And actually, do you know what I'm thinking? No, because I will, I'll come into this box, so I will keep them in this box. I might keep them on top, actually. But I was thinking maybe I should put them in this bag of, like, colours I don't know the DMC number of. For now, but, 
I'm thinking when I kick down that shine on painting, I'm not even going to go into my spares anyway. I'm just going to go straight to that box. So that's my logic. I'm not going to. I'll put them back with my normal drills and I'll keep these crystal rhinestones on top of that box. So when I come to kick down the shine on painting, then... I know they're in the top there. So that is that. This storage is all kitted down so I can go back in my drawer. Let me just take the sticker off of the top. See if this comes off all right. And my camera just saved. I'm trying to get this sticker off. Like peeling off the film on the top. Sugar. How am I going to get this off of my storage? Let's have a look. Really doesn't want to come off. And this, the top of it is like um, fabric. Now as opposed to plastic, so I thought it would have just peeled right off, but evidently it doesn't want to. It's like got a film on the top of the sticker and that's coming off. But, like that. But you not the actual sticker, which is annoying. Let's see. Let's try this one last corner that I haven't already tampered with. Usually if you can get a corner like this look and peel oh no I lost it you have to do it very gently but it's not doing it yikes I hate when stickers are like temperamental hate it Sorry, I'm like proper concentrating. I'm trying to get all this sticker off. But it doesn't want to come off properly, which is really annoying. So I think because I'm trying to concentrate and not talk. And then you'd just be watching a video with like no sound and that'd be ridiculous. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to come back when I've got it off. Okay, so I did get all the sticker off. You can kind of see, like, oh, I can see a bit of a square. Oh, yeah, you can definitely see it like that. But um, there's no sticky residue or anything on it now. So it's just being marked, which isn't great, but... I'll always cover it with another sticker anyway, so I need the stickers on because I have so many paintings kicked up, I don't know what's in where, so that's why I put the stickers on, so if it has, you know, marked it, it has, it's fine, I'll put another sticker on it, and I'll kick it up next time, so I rarely ever see it, but anyway, that is all kitted down, so Flight of the Fireflies is completely done and dusted, kitted down, and it's ready for a new painting now so thank you so much for liking subscribing commenting and of course watching and until next time see you in the next one